I got this box in yesterday on Friday, and as you can see, it says Regal, and what's in there is a digital oscilloscope, and the one that I got is the DS1202Z-E, and it's a two-channel, 200 megahertz scope. And I opened up the box. I was actually expecting to see another box, but uh, as you can see, they use foam to suspend the unit. And here's everything that was in the box. Now, of course, we got the probes on the right, and then in the center is a USB cable. Then we got a power cable and, of course, the unit in the back. Now, I'm not going to go through or try to go through all the functions. That would take hours. I just wanted to go through a few things uh, to show you that this is pretty easy to use, even though it is complex. And a couple of things that I'm going to be using quite a bit, capturing the screen. Now, this is the test circuit that I'm using. I've done a video on this already. It is the TL494 pulse width modulation chip. And I have ordered a whole bunch of other chips, uh, which is one reason why I ordered this scope. I'm going to be doing a lot of experimenting. Here's the setup. I put the oscilloscope on top of my RCA meter. Fits very nicely there. And... I'm going to just show you just a few things of this scope, and I'm really impressed with the quality. One of my tests that I do on new equipment is how much of it can I figure out without reading the manual? And it was actually quite a bit. And of course, I did uh, go to the web and download the manual because there's all kinds of functions. I just got this yesterday and I really like it. It's going to be very useful. Let me turn this on. I've already got it hooked up to a circuit, both channels, and it's got to go through a self test. And then it'll display what I've got hooked up. There we go. That's the uh, TL494 chip. Let me change the duty cycle here a little bit. Let's see. Oops, too far. There we go. And there's all kinds of things you can do. I'm not going to demo everything, but you can... What I want to point out, I hit channel 1 and notice that it's yellow here to match that. Let me go back to channel 2. Okay, now it's blue here, or kind of a blue. So, uh, there's, oh, there's way too many options to try and go through here but it works very well let's see here we've got this on blue notice it's got coarse that happens to be this particular knob here see okay now let me push the button here now it's fine Okay, let me go up to channel 1, and it's yellow here. 
and it says it's on course. Yep, it is. And I'll push the button. We'll make that one fine also. Now, there's all kinds of things like that. Multiple functions on almost every button and knob. Uh, which uh, takes a little while to get used to. But it does some really nice things. One of them that I'm going to be making a real good use of is being able to download pictures and I've got a USB thumb drive right here and we'll just stick that in and it recognizes it right there and let's say that I want to Oh, take a shot of this screen. So, let's see here. Need to hit storage. I'm going to have to get in front of the picture. I can't see which button is storage. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we get another menu here. And I want to do a save. And I've got an option to use the internal or this which will be D drive and I want D drive so we'll turn that knob there and choose D drive and I'm gonna let it default to names that's fine with me new file it'll make up new file one and that's fine with me. So I'm okay with that. So push OK. Now it's saving the screen. Okay, that storage again to get rid of that. But let's say that I want a little bit more information. I can ask for over here. Let's see what came up here. Um, da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, max voltage. Okay, see it put that in there. And let's say uh, minimum voltage. And let's see here. Oh, I don't care about the phase. Duty cycle. Pulses. Oh, let's take the frequency. Okay. And notice that they're all in yellow. And we'll take uh, another picture of that, another snapshot. So hit storage. No, oh, it's already there. Save. And again, that's fine with me. It's going to put it on D drive. Uh, but I didn't put the last one in the folder, which is fine. It's still on there. I don't care if it's in a folder. We'll say that that is fine. We'll do a new file. It'll default to new file 2. And we'll hit OK. And let's see here. Mm, da, 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 da. Oh, I forgot something. Like I said, I got this yesterday. New file. Okay. Okay, now it's saving it. Okay, and we'll take a look at the two that I saved. And it's pretty good quality. And I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. 
and uh, probably should have done this uh, quite a while ago. So let's go take a look at the pictures that are on this drive. Here's the first screen capture. Now I had to cut off the very bottom, but you can barely see a little yellow at the bottom. What's missing there is it says channel 1, but we still know it's channel 1 that uh, the controls will respond to because it's lit up yellow on the left. Now here's the other one where I had asked for more information, but I also pushed the button to channel 2, and now the controls will respond on channel 2. And you can also tell that because on the left it's lit up blue. Pretty nice. Thanks for watching.